All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. Yes, we just finished our newspaper story segment, and Ezugu Chukudi Day here to give us uh, all the insights and all the analysis on the newspaper story. And yes, so a lot of conversations did there. Uh, we we know simply they talk about now, and uh, it's good that if you know fit, uh, if you want to get the full information, if you go out, go get the newspaper by yourself, make you check them out. Uh, so how the the whole level, how you take see the whole level? We don't say from our top stories segment, we they tackle some of these issues. We can't enter newspaper. We can't see say they even put them for the year. And the one way still they shock me or way they always they, they touch me because they, they affect me personally now this electricity um, issue. Matter, yes. And it's quite unfortunate say uh, at this time now in this kind of thing they happen and when when within they read the thing, I say, you, you, you talk and I say 12 hours light, people go on the talk, say, okay, now when they don't, they talk about 12 hours. Can we reduce our light mm. to six hours? I'm telling you, until we get our prepared meter. Yes, until we get our prepared meter. meter, meter. So when I just, so I just, they talk, say, they don't even mind to pay 100 naira. Yes, as they long as we get meter, make we know, say, I know what they spend. Who can carry estimated billing, can't give me, say, now light, why is me, why? Now only one fan, I ain't my For where are they stay? I not get prepaid meter, and see. every month so you be the change. I mean, the standard this month, you. if it be 20 something, next yes. month, if it be 30 something, the other month, 22, yes. 25, it just they move. Okay. So, if say this prepaid meter, they are gonna say when I reach, I come on my card, go load up, use them. The story when most scatter miss more, we say if you look, I think we said the last paper where we looked this yeah. morning, the heading went there on top, they should say. Power where they don't generate, don't, don't, don't fall to about 2,007 something. Yeah. And as I say, for us to even reach 4,000 megawatts, they had. They had. To start with the infrastructure. Don't drop. Now, half of that one now. They don't drop. So, how won't one? It's quite, it's quite, it's quite very, yeah. very sad. That's I won't so do one. We just they pray, say, make all these things there, uh, make government look onto all these matters, and make uh, we, we get our own responsibility to play too yes. as individuals, as citizens, who go also chuck out on top yes. that level. Well, we get one special package for now because I want to say for the show, we always always surprise and have some better, better things. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, health and fitness because this one, we know saying that something where everybody need to take as a uh, as habit because we look at say, uh, I don't need fitness now, I they slim, I they fit, I don't need to work out, I don't need to go gym. I like there are some things you need to do as an individual, as human being. You know, sometimes I go meet some ladies, they say, no, I they fit now. I know they need to go gym. Uh, no, but but they, they, they don't know, they say, no, but only fat you they born yeah. when you they go the, the workout, when yes. you do all these exercises. It can keep your blood, uh, the, 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 your blood, your heart go they pump blood yes. well. Your, your, your muscles go they free. All those kind of things they involve, we, we always they need to do. So today we say we could play on this package on health and fitness. How you gonna need to put all these things together as individuals. I'm gonna check them out. From this one, you're gonna say, yes, so, as uh, a responsibility, we suppose they always they do every day. So let's enjoy this package when they come back. Living in a modern society comes with all the benefits and the stress associated with metropolitan lifestyle. Keeping and maintaining a balance is what many can't seem to find. In a city like Lagos, keeping fit and healthy seems far-fetched than a reality because of the hustle and the bustle in a concrete jungle. So how can one live healthy and get a level of fitness? We'll start by saying health and fitness are two different things, although they are closely related. Health is a state of total physical, mental, psychological, social, even spiritual well-being as far as Nigeria is concerned, and not just the absence of disease. You understand while fitness is just a state of being physically fit fitness is more of a physical thing it's brought about by physical activity and, con and nutrition you understand so you have to be fit to be healthy you cannot be healthy and not fit first they'd have to at least eat clean as best as they can um, eating clean would involve um, vegetables healthy carbs and protein, so basically balanced diet and of course exercising. Um, with a stressful city like Lagos, um, your best bet is the exercise is the exercise you actually do and that's the easiest part which is just wake up in the morning and do something that you know you can consistently keep doing for the rest of the week. So for, the, for a busy city like Lagos, I advise you keep your exercises about five five minutes per day. That was the medical and fitness opinions on how one can keep fit and healthy in a cosmopolitan society. So what does a Nigerian on the street think on the benefits of keeping fit and healthy? When you eat healthy, you definitely would be healthy. If you don't keep fit, you suffer, you'll be suffering from malaria. We are healthy, you live long, health is well to say. So keeping fit 
adds and it goes a long way to help someone live long. You'll be light. Your, I mean, you yourself, like uh, you say, you, 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 inside you know that you are light, you are free, you're not heavy, you're not feeling. Sometimes you feel that like your body is stretched, uh, is hard because all the fat, fat affect us a lot. So when you when you keep fit, when you live, a, uh, you are keep, keeping fit and engage in some fitness aside, it burns down all those calories, all those fat in your body. Maybe it helps the stress. The benefit, oh, number one, you see, it's good to walk like every morning, like at least 20 meters or 10 meters, eh? Exercise. You understand? For you to keep yourself healthy, number one, you at least do exercise. You are healthy, you will be happy, and happiness is free. You're not as stressed as you know. And then on the body, yeah, I think it would tell on your body when you eat healthy and that. I mean, if it, it helps you. It helps you. It, it helps your body system. It enables um, proper blood circulation. Like when you keep fit, you, you, you sweat, and as such, you burn some calories in the body, which enables you to, to maintain fitness without um, having excess fat, and then helps you live long. Keeping fit and all that, it helps your, your blood to flow easily. I mean, and that's the, one of the fastest ways to, to know that you're healthy, because when your blood is flowing well and all that, you know that you are okay. You understand, like five meters or 10 meters every morning is compulsory. And then every time, when you, you eat, at least try to walk around before seven takes to eight. You keep your food balanced before go to bed. So that this kind of tummy, who oh, they see nowadays, where oh, they see small picking, go see big belly, go see old man, you see big belly, you know, go show. Do they exercise and are they conscious about their health and fitness? Sure, yeah. Because I've had, you know, some health um, scares in the past, so. Now I'm a bit more conscious. I'm conscious in terms of food I eat. Very, very. I only do exercises in the morning. That's my own. When I wake up in the morning, I will do my exercise. After I do my exercise, I take water. I try to exercise. I like food. <laughs> like the morning. When I wake up in the morning, I come to do sit up. You know, sit up. After sit up, I now go like 20 meters road walk before I take my bath. Now I can take one cup of coffee or top, then go to work. Of course, everybody should, so I am. Take care of myself, I eat well, I will watch over my body, not to fall ill and all sorts of precautions. Like I said, Lagos lifestyle, sometimes you so choke with traffic or so choke with activities of the day that you might not even eat well. So sometimes you find out you end up eating gala on the road or eating one snacks or something or one drink, but which I try to reduce as much as possible. Yeah, I don't just eat any half food like that. So I'm conscious of what I take in because what I take in can affect my system. But I try to exercise, yes. The word health refers to a state of complete emotional and physical well-being, while fitness is a state of health and well-being, and more specifically, the ability to perform sports, occupation, and daily activities. But in today's world, how can Nigerians improve upon their fitness and health? Not just eating right, there are some certain habits you need to imbibe when eating. For example, you do not skip breakfast. You stay away from caffeine. Keep ourselves hydrated. Another way to stay healthy, you sleep. Like I already mentioned before, minimum of seven hours in a day. You exercise. Exercise is very, very good. I'm not saying lift heavy weights, jogging, slow, prolonged jogging, not running fast. You try as much as possible to stay away from alcohol. And smoking, you stay away from smoking. The acceptable level for smoking tobacco, I don't mean any other thing else, I'm talking of tobacco. The acceptable level for smoking tobacco is zero. There's a general consensus that regular activities can improve physical fitness and health and assist in the prevention of diseases, as several studies have shown that active adults are healthier and have a higher balanced life through different nations and population groups. Like I said, exercise regularly. Um, your exercises should vary. Uh, it should vary in the sense that um, you should mix up your cardiovascular exercise, which are exercises that work your heart and lungs, and strength training exercises, which are exercises that work your muscles. So um, combining the two consistently is the most efficient way to get an exercise regime or to exercise generally. 
Health industry practitioners would advise you to be as lean as possible without being overweight. Be active more than 30 minutes every day. Avoid sugar, limit consumption of packed foods and alcoholic drinks. Balance one's diet with varieties of vegetables, grains and fruits. With these few steps, it's possible to channel yourself to a healthy, fit lifestyle. Okay, yes, uh, we simply could play that package for now because it's they very, very necessary. A lot of times people, they talk, say, uh, they know they know what to do on how to live healthy. But, you know, you have to eat right and, uh, you know, and exercise. Now, that eating right matter now be one of the things where they always they cause people, they say, and how do, do I eat right? And it's very important because I remember one of my colleagues like that, she just lose weight drastically, you know, mm -hmm. but in a very good way. I said, I'm waiting happen. She said, she never even enter gym one day. She be, I don't know they like to the chop where she did. Because there's a big calculus calorie. <laughs> oh, ah, oh they be, they I don't know like those kind of people. See, this is 2,000 calories. Mm. This is 85 calories. Oh, just make me say, just chop one small biscuit. You don't really have to count them. <laughs> or just carry rice. Oh, that's, you know, if you touch the food again. You know, but she said, because she they follow that thing strictly, yes. she lose weight. You know, she said, she, she don't lift anything for one. Some of mm. the things say, oh, I go chop, 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 chop. When I reach gym, I go burn up. Unless I went to gym to chop iron. Some people say that they live for that thrill yes. to carry um, yes. heavy uh, whatever. But um, yeah, important point, like important. you said. Eat, um, eat, eat right, right and exercise. And exercise. Right it will make sense. It will yeah. make sense. All yeah. right. So our next guest for the show this morning is Ogafemi Oladeni. Ogafemi is a partner um, investment banking at Argentil Capital Partners. I was going to discuss this morning. We said we don't need to talk for this show since last week. This increment in fuel price as a result of deregulation. We don't have to say government don't talk, say marketers now, now handy day now. We say mm -hmm. now we feel they do for how much last uh, for Nigeria. Also, issue of electricity tariff. Government already talk, say um, you're not going to pay as soon as they use. Marketers go call them, say now cost reflective tariff. When mm -hmm. Nigerians they talk, say, you know, to... as good as this policy day, they feel say not to come at the right time. But yeah. thing we say, government have already talk, say we're not going to reverse. Even if Labour, they talk, say they won't enter strike, do what they go do. Government say, as it be, now it go be, but we go still wait to unfold. Well, mm -hmm. won't tell us this morning. Uh, first of all, make we even understand the impact of this policy. That is how the thing go affect me, you, mm -hmm. uh, Mommy Sikira, Mommy Koboyan, mm -hmm. um, uh, Mommy Maruf, yes, uh, so. Mommy Aisha. Yes, make so. we know how this new policy where government don't set, how it go take affect them. Well, Femi, good morning this morning. Good morning, no. I hope so. Now they we did we they hear you. you. Clear, right? Over Claire, won't worry the thing says. Oga Femi, so tell us now, how this matter be, how you take see the matter? This is where we say government don't already introduce. How you see the matter? The, the matter is a serious matter. Okay. Um, but, you know, many people think, say, as, as, we, they, this, as we they discuss this thing, say it's very hard for them to be adjust to the reality of the the, the truth is, uh, this subsidy thing, we don't talk about we don't say where we don't talk about And government, they always mismanage the process mm -hmm. of how they come out um, or how they manage. And I think that we are probably that. Because if competition deal well, our people go don't prepare themselves, say this stops at that, they go cut them um, and we go to us. The implication of subsidy matter, uh, the price way uh, to trade for global market, it will begin reflect for the price way we pay for Nigeria. Before the problem, we say if price for food uh, or it come down, the money where we they pay for food, I know they change. Okay. But now, the, the money where we they pay, it go increase if the price of crude oil increase. If the mm. price of crude oil come down, money go increase. Mm -hmm. It's in where we go to deal with that. And at the same thing with uh, electricity. Electricity won't serve, it won't pay hard. Because electricity, it, it uh, costs. Oga okay, Femi, before you enter electricity, eh, I beg that thing where you talk, I want to make Nigerians understand. Make we understand the difference. You say the difference and be say, if crude oil price, if global price for crude oil go up, what's it go do the fuel price? It go increase. The price will go up. It, it go, go, go up. up. If it come down, what's it go do the fuel price? The price supposed to come down, but, but it, it get one, it get one major thing where we make we always be remember. Mm -hmm. You say because our economy na na one one size type economy, so the, the if crude oil price they come down, it they affect us in two ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. in the first way way they affect us is say the revenue we Nigeria they generate most of our revenue from crude oil. Yeah. 
if crude oil price come down, our revenue will come down. True. If our revenue come down over a sustained period, mm -hmm. the problem we say the dollar where they enter government coffers, where they take due for import matter, where they take due for uh, say they won't pay the loan where they collect, mm -hmm. that dollar will come down. Mm -hmm. As that dollar come down, pressure will take, the Naira value will begin to go down. So now, like what's going happen from uh, February, March, be that where as dollar as crude oil price come down, dollar begin go up mm -hmm. because the revenue where they where Nigeria pay end to come down. So the only thing we suppose a moderate, I don't know the the problem for moderate, but we will reduce the impact of. When crude oil price come down, yeah. now our exchange rate, okay. if crude oil price come down okay. and our exchange rate they go up, then it possible make the drop in the price where we supposed to make it all day immediate. It will mm -hmm. take time before that drop go in down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, uh, Ogafemi, I go like make you uh, help us clear this uh, matter once and for all because a lot of people uh, we the we they watch us now because this now uh, we get a lot of uh, uh, people with the watchers with the the general masses. Every time we they hear subsidy, they don't even understand we waiting to subsidy be. Uh, because we don't hear and say they won't come out time. We don't hear and say they they put time. We don't hear say it, it not day at all. So, Ogafemi, you feel even tell us what in this subsidy mean mm. and how it take the function on top of this crude oil matter we they always hear about. Talk about this subsidy matter. I, I, make I, understand I, I that. like that question because mm -hmm. it's very important. What in subsidy mean? They say make, I won't make we use orange. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will easily make everybody understand. Okay. If I go market, if Mama will they bring market from village. They buy in basket of market, say two thousand naira. Yeah. As she they come, but the king for their village talk say this market where when they sell, I don't want to make on a sell and pass one thousand five mm -hmm. to the people waiting for village. It means say the king for that village would they give that mama five hundred naira to cover up, to take cover the difference between the cost and the price where the mama they sell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That 500 naira, naive with the cost subsidy. Okay. okay. So what's in the app of the pay? Oh, see, before, like now, you know, say, petrol don't reach like 160 now. Yes. At the yes. time, we pay 145. Everybody knows that the money will be pay be that. The difference between this 160 and this 145, the government, they pay her. Mm. So that it's in way they there. Yes. That. Okay. Now, government okay. don't try all type of tricks to take manage the amount of that subsidy. Yes. But the problem with subsidy everywhere for what we say, it is very susceptible to fraud. Yes. Part of the thing we people they do, we say they crude the petrol where we they import. Then go we'll steal that petrol, carry and go Benin Republic go because say. the price we they buy for Benin Republic, it is high higher past the price we they pay where for they Lagos. Pay here. Hmm. Yes. So the, the if you create within uh what people they call arbitrage, arbitrage now opportunity say I buy something for you. No, say sister Sunday, go get no know the information say now from you I buy. Mm -hmm. I could buy up from you five uh, sell it to them for six thousand naira. That kind hmm. of now the arbitrage with that. That arbitrage opportunity day, everybody go take up. Because now free money. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now the reason why government, if I went government in short border, mm. part of the reason why they short border, they say people see that arbitrage, they won't take part, advantage of them. So Nigeria could pay subsidy of the petrol. But the man where they carry the yes. petrol, they make the additional money on when they carry it. Oh. Okay, for me, a very important point you make. I remember that we say fuel scarcity being day when government can't release fuel. Black time like two or how many years ago. Mm. Because we say most of the fuel we say the government release, they give them, though we don't pay on top. This is just the cross border. Yes. They go. Lines, queues, see the fuel stations mm -hmm. that people they people want to say where the fuel they go. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they carry and go. We get fuel scarcity. We've yes. been a republic, except guess what? 
for scarcity. Yes. yes. <laughs> it can't be like say, ah, we get for no. scarcity. Uh, Waiting for time, but then Why you come and say we don't release that kind thirty tanker? Yeah, yeah. Now let ten tanker will come inside market. Definitely, yeah, yeah. then go everybody go where money go pass. But guys, I mean, we don't already tank or say you don't already help us understand how the subsidy be. Mm. Help us understand the impact of uh, this um, deregulation. Now, make we even talk about how the thing now go they affect everyday life. You know, as it be now, people they think say now just the four we one buy to take put inside our generator or put inside our car. Which other areas, which other key areas, if you say this thing go affect and why it go affect them in a bad way? So, for, um, it, when, they go, when they call things like petrol, mm. when they call them critical economic inde index, okay. and I go explain them, mm. because petrol, now something will be the for transport. And, and transport is a very inefficient system for Nigeria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the mama where they build, buy, uh, they make gari for Ushobo, if you want carry and call Lagos, petrol gets impact in the price where she go deliver them yes. to Lagos. Yes. If petrol go up, the cost of makes she take deliver them from Lagos, go the cost go high. Yeah. If petrol come down, the cost will come down. So the, the problem with that critical index is say, if petrol they go up, sustainably in a long time, mm -hmm. the price could they feed into it when they call inflation. It means, say, when the mama won't recover the cost when they carry in Gary for Shoko, the price of Gary go up. Mm. When, he, when the man, when they bring yam from Benue, they come legal, the price go go The price go increase. So the way we, the, the things we government, they try to go now, like say, make them in train, Train begin work and uh, make the great alternative yes. transport, transport system. Yeah, mm -hmm. those things they very important now. Hmm. Well, guys, I mean, and now we won't come begin they do those ones. I mean, we know say this deregulation they must come one day. Let me kind of talk say this is our fire brigade approach to get us to be. So we don't begin to put those measures in place before we land this one. Many Nigerians they talk say yes. Now, would they complain, say, come on, subsidy, because you know they understand how many fuel would they produce, how many fuel would they sell. But it's not be say, as you don't come introduce them at this time, you don't do your own homework, you don't already set two things that go make it easy for us. So, Gafemi, you still say those things there on ground. See, yeah, uh, I, I, I go do this in Uyghur people, they call political correctness. It's all right. Um, mm. if, we, if we talk through mm. our government, then they don't fail us. Mm. Nobody today, the failure starts. Yes. The failure don't start, they take. Mm -hmm. And the biggest problem, they say, our people know they, know they to look forward. Mm. We know they look future. They say, what do we need for future? Where we supposed to start now? Let me give you one example. You get one train line, where they put for London, for Bodo Ibo, where they call HS2. Mm -hmm. HS2, you know, they come online until maybe 2035 or 2040. Mm -hmm. But they don't begin plan for this rail line since 2008 or 2009. Mm. Plenty of governments don't come since that time. They never cancel that project. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they understand, say, it is strategically important. Yes. London, I mean, if UK, one day relevant as an economy. The problem where we, we get, we say, see, as government begin build rail line now, the one where they go from Lagos to Ibado. Yeah. Some, some other party go, they shout, say, ah, that money, then they take and steal. This thing, this thing, this thing. Mm. Instead, make we focus on, say, make they deliver the real line. Make we can't follow the accountability making necessary. We they take politics to everything, whether it's beneficial for us or you know they beneficial. Mm. So the people, when we did two elections for, for last year, 2019, where they tell us, hey, make their come up subsidy, they make their come up subsidy. As soon as government comes up city, those same people then they come back tell us say, why government they come? Why government they come? Mm. Because we they take everything to politics Not politically. Not now, uh, Ogafemi, you you may make one conversation regarding the thing what they do for Godo Ibo, and uh, you know say that project no go even fit finish till like 2040 or thereabouts. But unfortunately, for this country where we day, for this part of the world where we day, every time where we they change uh, political system, we they change government policies, they change. I feel start. Uh, I feel be uh, head of government now. I say, okay, I won't do railway line, or I be head of, I be, I be governor of state. I won't do one project. If they come out me or my political party end that regime, another one go enter and they go just shut down that project and move on with another thing. So we they get a lot of 
a, a half project where they go start, where they no go finish, and we know they ever reach the end with any uh, uh, project or policy we want to uh, carry on. Why you think say uh, how we go feel even go about this kind of situation as this thing the as this thing be issue where they always happen to us? How can we move forward? Make I, make I tell you what's in the cause. Ninety nine percent of the time, na corruption mm. the cause. Na corruption because the government we did before. Yeah. And the point where they come in, go think say ah, the opportunity to take chop money for that project if you don't go, mm. I know they spend your top arm, make a come out. Make I give you one classic example. I know one turn out to politics, but not no, true. Wahala. no wahala. River State, River State, they build monorail when the current transport minister be governor. Mm -hmm. As the new governor come, they cancel them. Rivers don't spend plenty billion naira on top of that monorail. That thing that we seen Oyibo Mango called travesty, hmm. it just shows that we don't get any planning for this town. We don't get any, I, want, I don't want to use common sense, but some of our leaders don't get common sense and not true. Because if we think, say, for the long, long term benefit of the country, say those projects, they're very strategic, say that they're important. We suppose they continue those projects. True. For the benefit of the country. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, if we know one, we're not going to get anything. The election cycle where we get now three years, I they always tell people that thing. We think say now four years, now lie, now three years. In fact, now two and a half years. Now two, now two and a half. I won't even talk. <laughs> now two and a half years. Mm. The president or the new president will come in. He go spend first six months. First take understand what's in the ground. What's in the ground, yeah. Okay, he go by December, he go begin work. By two years, they go don't start politics for the next election. For the next one, yes. We don't abandon everything. We go, go they run whether I want to the or whether I want anoint the person we go come as new governor. Make you look at those states, for example. Mm. Governor Basset, he never do any work for the past six months. Now survivor about to win the fight. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So you know if he produce anything sustainable if people get a kind of short-term mindset. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but again, also we also talk say um, the time where you start as president or governor, not be the time where the work starts. Clearly, the person will be saying you don't already sit down, they aspire to you know occupy that position. You suppose already they get your plan on ground. America, where would they sit? They're the same four years now, and then they sit down and do their matter. Mm -hmm. But think we say you don't already know, you don't already observe the country from a distance. You don't already observe what thing they happen as ordinary do floor members. An uh, where we say when you they also enter office or they more even start the campaign, mm -hmm. you they promise and you they campaign based on the things where you don't notice, based on the things where we say you won't resolve when you enter. But bless our own case, we say when we don't start campaign, not to abuse the other person, then when you can't enter, now in the main work comes, now they can't begin to see waiting day on ground. We might even move politics aside. As the matter don't be now, we don't read today for the headlines. Say NLC and Trade Union Congress, them they don't enter or say they don't do, they won't start. I know go agree on top Regarding of this issue of matters, uh, fuel yes. price matter. And government, me, we're already a ring bell since last week. Say we know they reverse anything, we know they move anywhere. Waiting, we don't tell you now, waiting, we don't already tell you now. No matter how this matter won't go, between you and I, make we talk how we self as people feel begin to adjust under these very harsh measures. Because at the end of the day, if we say last, last, government no shake. Just give us more advice on how we feel make sure say the small cobble when they are pocket will feel survive this period before we go begin the no no go start to the beg. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like that question. And it is very important. What did the teach our people? We say now. We're supposed to do what you book they call priority spending. Mm, very key. So we will focus our spending on the team breathing in water. Make I give you an example. You know, since they don't close club, nobody died because we know club. I can Abby? tell you. Abby? We didn't live our life, they go now. Mm -hmm. So meeting we supposed to do now priority spending. And the truth be say, you see, those priority spending, it could even help the country. Imagine country where everything where we they import before. Now we know they consume there because you know they mm. we they save the dollar where the countries we they spend on top of those things where we yeah. need. So if that thing will help us well, well, maybe we just be focus on the things where they important. Pay our picking school fees, uh, pay our rent, uh, person with their motor, make his service in motor well, well, so you know go die on top road. But all the other uh, small, small spend, the way we just do to take to enjoyment. Make we reduce that or small, so that the money we get take save, we go fit the saver, because savings is very important for everybody, both for each person and for four persons. Mm. 
Mm. A very important point. We Speaking dance. about that savings matter, yes. uh, a lot of people they talk say, eh, when you save money, if you save them for for some kind of financial institutions, they not they give you interest. Mm. Instead, they use your money, they they, they, they work, they, they flex, they, they they do things to improve the financial institution. You will save money for them. You know they give you interest. So why you go put money for a place where you not know, say you know they build? I'm blessed. You know, I make group. I'm blessed. I make people there for informal sector. Just you know, then they defend their job. Yeah. Uh, well, well. But they then we yeah. they talk That's about this of financial true. inclusion. Uh, we're going to discuss that one for even this week on the show. But Ogami, just give us more tip, really. Or uh, when we talk about that savings, Na where the best place to put our money now? Mm. Na, na true talk, na talk. The truth be saying, we got to start from one place. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't start from one place, we don't go learn culture of things to the same. Yes. The culture is very important. Because once we get that culture, to take build upon them, it go day is. So some of some people, you know, so when we this small, people we go get colo, yeah, we, yeah. we they put our money, mm -hmm. piggy bank, we put our small small. Those kind of things they very important because na culture, picking we don't learn to the, the culture of saving. When he reach saying don't they work, you know go hard out to do. Yes. And na part of the things we were supposed to introduce to our lifestyle. Yeah. That. True talk. Now in terms of the places that we save our money, mm. you know, say government get pension. We yeah. don't put for yeah. one of the things where we suppose they agitate for now, which is they call micro pension, mm. where people with the market and then they feed collect trader money, they feed they save money for their own pension too. Yes, because now everybody go old, no go feel work again at some True. point. Yes, yeah, so That's so that those people feed they go the pension administrator say, ah, I don't save a couple cover for your hand, I beg, give me small, make a take whole body together. After you know, I don't retire. So sometimes we go we go start from those kind of small places. Eventually, we we say as our education for financial inclusion they improve, people go to get comfort to take do other things. Don't say before, because they put money for stock market. Mm -hmm. Now when stock market dabaru, then we know they put money inside yeah. again. But government need to continue to educate people, even private sector too. Continue to educate people so that people go feel get confidence to hmm. go back, go inside those oh, markets. Oh, God, me. Thank you. That's a very important point yeah. where you don't raise uh, mm -hmm. this morning. On to how the impact of um, this new deregulation yes, so. go whole Nigeria, issue of increasing fuel tariff. You know, also talk, um, what think government supposed to do what we say they never do. And he also don't also even tell us how we self suppose adjust, tight our pockets mm -hmm. until waiting they happen. Oga Femi, thank you very much. Uh, say you join us this morning. Educate us more on what <laughs> we suppose know concerning what government they do. Oga Femi, na, Oga Femi na in the economist, the name of Femi Olajayi, and in the partner investment banking for Argentine Capital Partners. Oga me, um, we they wish you all the best this week. Where we say we I don't thank enter. I really enjoyed the show. I <laughs> Me, Seth, I enjoyed the interview thank with you. you. Well, well. Thank you. Uh, Sports Republic with Bucci and Swo. They next, but before then, we go take break. So they Seth, then go set to bring you what they happen for sports. Um, my brother. Uh, and then I know they watch football. Make Gucci <laughs> and uh, Swo come talk the matter. Uh, we we'll do join them on top of football. The public. But I don't go never more. Take this small break. We we'll come back.